What's going on guys? It's Steven from Pier Landscaping. It's currently Friday the 16th, uh, 8.01 a.m. in the morning. And it's about uh, a little under 60 degrees right now, uh, which is a nice relief. We're gonna go cut some lawns. Uh, we're just gonna go fuel up a little bit. I do have a new gas can uh, that you guys might find interesting. I don't wanna say much on it because I don't know the quality of it. Um, so I'm gonna test it out for a little while and then let you guys know what I think. Uh, but for now, I'll just let you know, I did get a new gas can. It's got a 14 uh, gallon capacity. All right, so uh, while I'm pumping some diesel, I'll show you guys. Uh, it's the Duramax. I just strapped it in real quick. I have to make a custom uh, metal bracket for it. I think this is the location I want to put it. So anyway, it's a, uh, a Flowgo Duramax. It's got a little nozzle. the gas station I didn't fill that tank all the way to the 14 gallons I only put about uh, five gallons in there I don't know if it's gonna leak um, I was thinking about it as I was filling it if it leaks I'm gonna have to you know deal with it but I didn't want to fill it with all 14 gallons and have it leak You guys might be wondering why I'm push mowing and not using my zero turn or using my walk behind. Well, it's not safe to use those. You have to use a push mower. This is why. I'm sure the camera doesn't do any justice, but that hill is steep. When you get morning dew on it or it's a little wet, you slide right down on your bottom. That's why I'm using a push mower. Don't be afraid to use a push mower. You're professional, you're commercial. You have to use a push mower. Doesn't matter what kind you use. I use this piece of junk. Well, I say piece of junk because it's old and beat up, but it's a yard machines. And uh, it served me great. I've never had any problems with it. It has the bagger, mulcher. It's awesome. Picked it up for like 30 bucks on Craigslist. Uh, why spend a couple hundred on a mower that you're not going to use much so that's why I cut this hill with the push mower all right ladies and gentlemen so I just finished this yard it looks okay it's hard to it's hard to stripe because it's mostly weeds. Blew off the uh, driveway with the Shindawa EB802. Did the back. I'm at my next yard. One tip for you guys is if there's a trampoline or an obstacle in the way, even if it might be heavy, uh, just move it. I got a trampoline. I don't know, probably 15. Looks like a 15 foot trampoline you know kids toys just, just move them new seeds coming up where the pool was pool noodle so just 
pick up whatever's laying around. You know, it doesn't take that long. Don't go mowing it all over their property. Um, so the trampoline's in my way. And to get a good cut, um, you know, around the trampoline, under the trampoline, I'm not going to go under there with a weed whacker, and I'm not going to say, screw you, you know, I'm not doing it, because that's not professional. So just, uh, just grab the trampoline and just move it. So this is what I do. I'm moving the trampoline. Yeah, it's heavy. Ugh. So I move the trampoline. Now I can mow under where the trampoline was. And uh, it gives you a lot better quality of cut. Uh, go the extra step. Don't be a, don't be a jerk. I just got done trimming. Uh, what I like to do is I like to trim first. Um, you know, there's many ways you could do it. I guess the, the proper way would be to trim first. That way, any clippings uh, that you may get all over the lawn, you're just gonna run over with the mower. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. If the grass isn't that long and you trim after you cut, you can't even tell. Um, there's no clippings all over. Um, but I'm bit, I've been trying to change and uh, just just trying to change and, and trim first. Uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, that way you don't have to go too close to obstacles. You can, you know where your problem issues are with the mower that might hit something. So just trim away from that. Make sure you're wearing your safety protection. You don't want to lose an eye. So I finished this property up. Uh, this is one that you've seen in my uh, mowing videos, uh, like how to mow and how to stripe and, and videos like that. You know, the one thing I was saying to you guys um, was I see a lot of guys go around obstacles and then it makes it look kind of weird with, when you stripe because what they'll do is they'll take this line here and they'll just cut this way and then it'll run into this line. What I do is I go down here first, continue the stripe. See, it's white right here, continue the stripe turn around come back that way when I stripe it right here it's it's light I don't know you don't have to do it I just think it looks nicer that way uh, so there we go so it's just blowing off the property and it's funny I was uh, thinking there's a game that my kids and my wife and I were playing it's called bean boozled it's where you eat jelly beans and they have some nasty jelly beans in there and it's either like one of the green ones was either I forget what it was it was something green and uh, there was a good tasting one, and then there was grass flavored. Um, you know, my kids were laughing because every time I got the grass flavored jelly beans, they're gagging, and, and I wouldn't even flinch. I've eaten so much grass over the years by accident, you know, from blowing it off, or whatever. Here's some stripes, here's the new grass seed. Put the trampoline back. So that's pretty funny. You landscapers that are watching me, you know, eating grass leaves you blow your nose and a bunch of nasty dirt dust and bugs or something come out i mean that's the lawn care lifestyle right there you're a true landscaper if you know that one or how about when you take your socks off and uh you take your sneakers off at the end of the day or boots off whatever you wear and then a whole bunch of grass falls all over the floor and then you're scraping the uh the grass that dried to your leg you're scraping it off so I'm at my other lawn. I normally mow uh, weekly, but uh, the grass is starting to brown out. We're not getting much rain around here, so I'm gonna skip that one. 
However, the house next door, that's where I'm heading now. Um, so we'll get that done and then uh, head to the next one. I'll show you a before and after, uh, but this yard's not too nice. No one lives there um, in the yellow house. Um, this other yard has got a nice yard, but the one in the yellow house, it's, uh, nobody lives there right now. So I'm just keeping it tidy just so, uh, you know, the landlord, the owner of the property doesn't get in trouble. <laughs> Gotta choke it. So I just finished this one. This one I did not really stripe. I just kind of went around and around and around because there was just so many weeds and it was thick and it wasn't cutting right the first time. So I had a double cut. So I just buzzed it. The back is a mess, buzzed it. Here's the other one that I take care of. It's dying out. That's why I didn't cut it today. Loading up the trailer and I'm gonna go uh, just have some of my lunch. All right, guys, I'm all set, I'm all done. I finished what I had to do, I had a couple more. I couldn't film them because the uh, customers were at home and those customers don't really like me filming anything. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I'm actually going to go get some front tires on the truck. I installed new ones in the rear a couple weeks ago. I'm just gonna get the ones on the front. Uh, I didn't wanna get the new tires on the front then because I had to do uh, ball joints, U joints, and I had to get an alignment, so I didn't want to mess up the tires. So I'm doing that today, getting the new tires in the front, getting the alignment. I do have plans for the winter now for this truck. I'm actually putting a plow on it. It's going to be an eight foot Fisher stainless steel plow. I already have the one picked out. It's I'm buying it off of a friend, so I'm getting it at a good price. It's pretty much used for one season but just for you know home use it wasn't even commercial so it's barely got any wear on it at all the cutting edge is almost brand new and i'm gonna have that installed they want they want an arm and a leg to install it so i don't know if i'm gonna try to install it myself or if i'll just uh have someone else do it but it looks like they're trying to get like 1700 just for the installation uh so it's the mounting plate the a wiring and the handheld handheld controller but uh, that's a video for another time thanks for watching